Hi, I'm Matt Piper. I'm the Propeller Head Product Specialist for Alliance 6. And this is the first in a series of videos on recording a song using Propeller Head, Reason and Record software, and a laptop computer. And we're going to take you step by step. And this first video, I'm going to show you how to set up. I'm going to be recording using Propeller Head's Reason and Record software with this MacBook. Uh, if you have a PC, that's fine too. And uh, the first thing that you're going to need, in addition to your software and computer, is an audio interface to get audio in and out of your computer. Uh, this is a Line 6 UX2. Uh, they have several interfaces that they make. And uh, the idea is the inputs on your computer, the audio inputs, are not designed for plugging in professional microphones and instruments. Even if you buy adapter cables at Radio Shack, you're not going to get enough level. It's not going to sound right. So you need a device uh, like this. Uh, this connects to the computer via USB. Now, you'll also want to get MIDI information with a keyboard uh, in and out of your computer. So if you have a, a MIDI keyboard that connects via USB, then you're set. Um, I don't have another such keyboard, but I do have this KB37 here uh, made by Line 6 and it actually has an audio interface built in. So it's a device like this with keys. So that's what I'm going to be using. So I've already installed the driver software that comes with this interface. Let's it talk to the computer and I'm going to plug the USB cable between the interface and the computer. And this will receive power from the computer. The next thing you're going to want for your home studio is a pair of reference monitors, uh, audio monitors designed for recording and mixing music. Uh, these are self-powered. You don't have to connect them to an amplifier. You do have to connect them. I have a cable already connected to the back of the speaker here to the analog outputs of your audio interface. So this is the left speaker plugging it into the left analog output. And this cable is connected to my right speaker. then I can just turn these guys on. Another thing that you're going to want in your home studio is a nice pair of headphones. I actually have two pairs of headphones that I use. One is an open back pair for nice long mixing sessions. They're very comfortable and lightweight. But if you can only afford one pair of headphones, you'll want to get a closed back pair. The reason being a microphone can hear the sound coming out of an open back pair of headphones. So you're recording your guitar or a vocal and then the rest of the track or your click bleeds into the microphone. So you can't have that. And you do have to use headphones whenever you record with a microphone because if you have speakers on instead of headphones, there will be feedback in the microphone. You'll hear your track in the microphone or maybe get some loud noise that you don't want. And the headphones also plug directly into your audio interface. Okay, so next I'm going to plug in my guitar. Pretty easy to find which one that's supposed to be. And my microphone. Okay, so now that we've got everything hooked up, I'm going to make sure that we're getting audio in and out of the computer. So I'm going to go to the record preferences and I'll start at the audio page and select KB37. All right, and then I'll go to Keyboards and Control Services, and I see that Line 6 KB37 is already good to go. It's got a happy little green check mark. So now I'm going to create an audio track. Oops. Okay, and this track is uh, going to be my guitar. And I hear audio, I see audio showing up, so I know I'm getting audio in and out. And I'm going to create another audio track. Input 1 and 2 are the guitar. Input 3 and 4 is the microphone. I'm obviously getting a level with the microphone. And let's make sure that the keyboard is working. I'm going to create an instrument device here. And that is working. So we've got everything hooked up.
All right, in the next video, we'll be recording some guitar and some bass.